So one thing that's cool about graffiti is that the letters do some uh, things that just make it look a little bit more interesting to look at. One of which is often that the letters are going to overlap. So that it looks a little bit crazy when you write it. Now you'll notice with that one, if I wanted to, I can just write the letter so that it's easy to draw and then erase the part that I want to be behind something and darken the part that I want to have on top. Because it can get confusing to try to draw it freehand without drawing the full letter because they don't always connect, right? If you try to put an A down here, it may not just line up quite right, but if you go like this, it's really easy to line up that A, and then you just erase the stuff that you don't need. So the idea of overlapping and going behind the other letters is something that I think is a pretty cool part of how to use your graffiti letters. Now, and you can see here, this goes like this and this goes up, so that really doesn't make as good sense. So it really should be more like that. And if I had drawn the whole letter versus freehanding it, it would have lined up a lot better. And you can always change stuff as you go along, so if something goes poorly, that's all right. Ain't that crazy? All right, so another possibility is that your letters um, interact in a way where they uh, do something to each other. So maybe like the R is bent up because of that part of the letter. So it looks like it's kind of broken. Okay, maybe the A fits into this space. All right, maybe the Z is going to take a chunk out of this like it's a big explosion. All right, or as it comes across here, it's going to make this part of the A actually fall off and drop down here because maybe we're going to make this look more like a knife or something. Or gave me the idea that it could go in here and then come out the other side as if it's piercing into the Z and coming out the other end. So think about what your letters can do. Now one thing that's really cool that could be something if your letters get really wacky is weaving. So remember if you have a bunch of lines like this just crisscrossing, you can make this weave in and out of these lines just by figuring out which one is on top and then erasing the part that's on bottom. So you can imagine Now, you can see how that goes behind and out the other side. And your letters could do that right too. So if you wanted your Z to weave in and out of these letters and then come out the other side, like here, it could go under one over top of the next. Okay, like it's busting through the A, coming out the other side, turning into a crazy arrow. Okay, so think about what you can do with your letters that use these ideas overlapping of changing, of destroying, of cutting apart to see if you can make your letters uh, do a little bit of something uh, maybe unexpected to represent the idea that you're looking for. Um, all right.